Okay, um, hi everyone, and welcome to the second video between uh, me, Joseph Dewey, and Manny. Manny, I forgot your last name because Abrego. Uh, Manny Abrego. Oh, um, and uh, me and Manny Abrego. So, um, so thanks, um, thanks very much. And um, so, so, so I, I kind of wanted to jump in and start talking about your, uh, your, your work as a, because you're a park ranger, right? Yes, I'm a park ranger. And and so, do you mind? Yeah, um, do you mind if we do you mind if we talk about um, being a being a park ranger? Because that's uh, that uh, that's one of those careers that I um, that that like I heard about and thought, oh, that would be like super super cool. But um, mm -hmm. like like I never applied to be a park ranger or anything like that. Yeah, so it's one of those job. Uh, so go ahead. And, and and I know this is more about cluttering, but um, but 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 I thought like having like a background thing before we like dive into cluttering would be would be kind of cool. Yeah, no problem. It's, it's so yeah, so park ranger, it's one of those jobs. It's like, a, it's a lot of things you do. It's basically your, your, your generalist. So you do, you talk to a lot of people. It's a very high contact, high public contact job. So you do end up talking to a lot of people. So, so yeah, as a clutter, it, it was very difficult for me to get used to it at first, uh -huh. but, um, it is it's something I kind of learned to adapt and eventually like, I feel like it kind of helped me become a better talker because I had to put myself in a situation where I had to talk to people every single day and and yeah it's it's I feel like it helped me become a better I don't know I feel I feel like being being in a job where I forced myself where I, I was forced to be in high contact with the public it really helped me develop those ha those those habits a little bit and basically as a park ranger my job duties include you know protection of the park you know maintaining the park making everything look nice and you know providing customer service to uh park patrons cool so so when um when they when they interviewed you did they warn you that um hey you're gonna have to talk to people a lot uh, well, I was already a seasonal for, for many, for many years or okay. not many years, but, but I was a seasonal. So I kind of knew what a job, what the job was like. Um, and then but, um, what did you do when you were a seasonal? Uh, you, you're basically just a park aide. So you basically just clean bathrooms and did like random stuff that just like, you know, just like the, <laughs> the grunt work. <laughs> cool. Cool. And um, and so um, and so then um, and and what uh, what does a um, what does a park ranger do um, more than um, like 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 is is the park ranger like the the, the highest on the totem pole pole or uh, have like a, a chief park ranger or, or so there's regular park rangers which is what I am that's like the, the 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 journey level park ranger which is like once you're past probation and everything then there's like a, a ranger supervisor so like uh, so like he's like this, he supervises a few rangers and he's a ranger himself and then above him there's like a, a regional for like your district manager and then above him is like the the head of the department who and those both those people aren't park rangers they're just administrators okay cool so yeah. um so so what kind um what kind of what kind of questions do people ask you, or, or, or what? Um, like, like, do you, um, do you find yourself saying more like, "Hey, don't um, don't throw um, don't throw cigarettes over here," or or are, are like people coming up to you and asking you, "Hey, um, I lost my cat," or, or just what, what what kinds of what, uh, what kinds of interactions do you have? So, so generally, people uh, it's usually tourists who I deal with. So, a lot of a lot of questions I'll get asked are like, "Oh, what kind of plan is this?" or or what kind of um, how old is this building or how old is, you know, just, just general questions like where's the bathroom? <laughs> it's a lot, cool. a lot of stuff like that. So, uh, so, so do you know, uh, now do you know all the, all the kinds of plants that are um, growing in the, um, growing in the park or? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some botanical gardens in the area. So like it's kind of, it's kind of a, there, there's a lot of plants to know, so. <laughs> <laughs> cool. cool. So, um, so, so what, um, what about, uh, you, uh, you said that working as a park ranger has improved your speech. Um, yeah, and, so. And, and through practice, um, can you, can you talk more, can you talk more about that? 
so just being being forced to be in that situation kind of forced me to talk a lot more uh whereas before um my speech was terrible like I, I could barely hold a conversation sometimes whereas once i once i started forcing myself to be in those situations i was able to hold a conversation better and you know be less nervous about talking even though i'm still nervous about my clutter at times i still i feel like a clutter a lot less than i used to because i i'm forced to talk every day cool and and so why um why do you think the practice helped with your speech i'm not sure i think maybe just because just the the constant like constantly doing it like over and over again really like i don't know maybe ingrain something in my head that I don't know, clutter less. <laughs> I don't really and, know how to describe it. Yeah, and I, and I think um, I think that's I think that's kind of I think that's kind of interesting because there's um, I um, I don't know where um, I don't know if if I if I saw this somewhere or 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 what, but but with cluttering then um, with cluttering then you um, your uh, uh, um, with cluttering generally there's kind of cur a curve like, um, like 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 this where your speech starts out bad and then you start practicing and practicing and then your speech gets uh, um, gets better mm -hmm. and then you get really familiar with with the topic and then your speech gets worse again mm -hmm. um so 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 i um i was um i think i i think i mentioned this and i mentioned this a lot because it was this really profound experience for me but i i was in a play and in um, in this um, in this play, then I um, then uh, then I, I only had ten lines, but uh, but I think we did it for like ten um, ten weeks or um, ten, um, ten weeks, and so I had to like give these lines like like with the exact same emphasis, and and I I I knew that I'm a clutter, and like everything about me is is wants to just say them faster and faster and faster every time because I. Um, now I um, like, like I know all my lines, and I just want to like say them really, really fast. But, but in a um, in a play, it's more about delivery. So, so, so I kind of had to like force myself to that, even though I'm familiar with it, to um, to to focus more on all the other parts of the speech instead of just um, giving giving the speech. So, have um, have you ever have you ever noticed that where your speech um, like um, that that the more and more familiar you are with something, or the more and more you practice something, then your speech actually gets worse. Yeah, I've noticed that uh, to some degree. So usually with something I'm very familiar with, or something I've like talked about a lot, I'll I'll generally talk say it very fast because um, in my mind, I don't know, as a clutterer, I just want to say whatever I want to say super fast and get it get to the point, mm -hmm. and it just like comes out, you know, all cluttered and everything. Um, I do, I do want to say though, like if I prepare myself a little bit, you know, like how you mentioned, like if I warm myself up a little bit to talking, I'll tend to clutter a lot less and versus if I just, you know, go in cold turkey, have, like maybe I go like half a day without talk, or, like I wake up and then maybe it's like a few hours before I talk to anyone, maybe I'll tend to clutter a lot more during that versus if I wake up in the morning on the way to work, you know, have a little conversation in my car with myself, kind of warm up my vocal cords and kind of get myself used to talking slower and prepare myself for conversations throughout the day, then I feel like that helps me a little bit. But maybe if I practice, you know, my lines over and over again to like the specific point, like where I knew something really well, maybe that would affect my, um, that would make me, you know, want to say it's really fast like subconsciously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, I, um, and, and I think that, um, I think that whole thing is, um, that whole thing is interesting, and, and I think, I think the way to, uh, the way to get really, really good delivery, and, and like, like one of the ways of, um, one of the ways of stopping cluttering is just to tell the exact same stories over and over again, like, uh, um, like, you know, um, uh, um, you, uh, you probably met you, you probably met people and they, they have like four or five stories or, or, or maybe uh, maybe even like twenty or thirty stories and and that's all they talk uh, that's all they say just like the same stories yeah <laughs> and and I um, so so one of the things uh, one of the thing, one of the things about me is I I just really really like being original so like uh, like sometimes sometimes like if I write if I write a blog and I think oh this um, um, this sentence was 
like, like I think I think the sentence was really really cool. So then I'll then I'll Google that sentence, and and I always feel like really proud when Google says uh, this exact sentence returns zero results, uh, because I'm uh, so, so I feel like hey, well I I'm the first person that ever phrased that sentence like um, like like that way. And um, and so so I really um, oh and and then my uh, my blog uh, my blog that I haven't written uh, for quite a while is called semi original thought um, because uh, because I realized that like like no no, no thoughts like actually like one hundred percent original like everything's yeah. copied off of something um, something else um, but but I really like having like like as original thoughts as possible and so. Um, but but I think um, I think that's kind of bad for my speech because then I'm not really saying the same stories over and over again, and so I so I don't get to like practice and and fine fine tune them and and hone my hone my storytelling skills. Um, so 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 for me for me I think one of the um, one of the factors with with cluttering. Is that I I just really really like saying original stuff every time I talk, mm -hmm. but um, but uh, but then I just don't have anything that I've actually really practiced before, so my speech can't be as good as someone that like has the same stories that tell that they tell like over and over and over again. Yeah, I have kind of a similar thing with that, like where I kind of want to say something original each time, but I mean I end up saying a lot of the same things anyways. But uh, I, I try to say something original each time I talk, but um, uh, or, I don't know if you have this thing, but I have this thing where when someone's talking to me, I'll try to prepare what I'm going to say before I, before, before I say it. So like, kind of, they're kind of telling me and I'm kind of like thinking in my head, okay, I'm going to say this exactly this way. And whenever I'm about to say it, maybe that whatever, maybe the conversation like turns like a little bit different and uh -huh. I have to change my response. I'm like, oh, oh well, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how I'm going to uh, say this now. So I just came up with this conversation exactly how I was going to say it in my head. And now I have to come up with something exactly different on the spot. And so I end up saying whatever I want to say, and it doesn't sound like clear, or maybe it doesn't sound uh, like concise or whatever. And it's, 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 a cl it's like cluttered. Um, and then, then another thing, maybe that is that maybe I, it's a perfect opportunity to say what I wanted to say in my head, but because I rehearse it so much, I say it really fast because I, I know what I'm going to say. So I just like burst it out and then get it out like that. I don't know if you have that uh, same experience. Yeah. And um, so, so, so one of the, um, the first, the first thing you said um, reminds me of, um, and, and I haven't really had this experience for a while because I tried to uh, like, I think I kind of like, don't um, don't do that anymore. But but I used to like I used to not I used to not be able to talk really, and uh, um, like like I couldn't have a conversation like this, um, and and I would just think of like I, I would just think of like a sentence, um, and 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 sometimes I would pre think of okay in this in this conversation I'll say this. And, and and just kind of like memorize the memorize the sentence and then go um, go over and over again and, um, that that sentence in my head, and you're totally right. Like conversation doesn't work like that. Like you can't really like preload a sentence um, and then go into a conversation because the conversation's always going to go like um, like like a little bit a little bit different, and it's impossible to like prethink through all the different combinations of of how like even a basic interaction can go. And so, um, so, so I remember like tons and tons of times me having having the sentence that I would say in my head, like in in this conversation, and then the conversation came up, and then and then just exactly what you described, it didn't um, like something didn't go the way that I wanted to, and then I didn't really have anything to say because I'd only like thought about one sentence. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I um, I don't think that really happens to me now, but like it happened to me like a whole bunch um way back uh way back when I was younger yeah and then the other thing I wanted to mention I wanted to bring up too is like when I so I'm used to saying only like one sentence at a time or maybe like one or two sentences at a time so when I have to like talk for more than one sentence I 
like I'll tend to pause a lot or I don't or I forget my point in the middle of like the second sentence and I end up I feel like that ends up make me it makes me clutter a lot more because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with that so I'll like tend to pause in the middle of like uh what I'm trying to say and maybe I'll like I'll stutter a little bit when I'm when I'm saying something and because like how you mentioned I'm not used to I'm not I don't not used to talking for long periods of time like that, like giving a speech. So maybe mm-hmm. that's something I need to work towards too, is learning how to talk for a prolonged period of time. Like maybe practice like speech, speech, uh, speech giving habits because people who give speeches, you know, generally tend to talk for, for over a minute at least. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something I need to work towards is work, learning to talk for longer than, than like a few sentences at a time. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And, um, and that's, um, uh, that, uh, that's really interesting. Cause, um, cause yeah, in, um, when, when I, when I was going, when I was going through speech therapy, um, that's, that's something that I really wish that the speech therapist would have done is basically said, Hey, Joseph, talk for five minutes. Um, because, or, 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 and, and I probably, um, I probably wasn't like, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that, mm-hmm. but, but I think that a speech therapist could have like guided me through and said, okay, well, um, talk about this, talk about this, like, 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 here's, um, here's kind of a framework. Um, just, um, just like, um, that's, that's something that because like so much was in, um, so much was in my head and, um, so much was just like inside my head and I didn't have like good, um, I, I, I never, I never had like good experiences practicing speech. Um, that, um, that's one of the things that I really wanted in speech therapy that, um, but, but I didn't, I didn't know, I'd know how to like actually say, say that to my therapist or, or like, or like say to any of my friends, Hey, I'm, Hey, I have this cluttering thing. Um, and, and could you just listen to me talk for five minutes? Um, mm-hmm. and, and actually I, I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure if I have any friends that would be willing to do that. They'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, um, I'll totally listen to you for five minutes and then and then like um 10 seconds in oh hey that reminds me of the of a story and blah 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 and then yeah but but anyway um yeah yeah so um so so it's interesting too because um because i think it's um i think it's a little bit more um complex um than that because because one of the things um i i went to dale carnegie um uh, dale carnegie training and and one of one of their things is they it, it's a public speaking, um, it's a public it, it's basically this public speaking like like crash course of like like three day crash course where where they just teach you how to do like great public speaking, and one of the things they do is they um, with most of their activities they limit it to sixty seconds, so mm-hmm. so you basically just have sixty seconds to tell a story, um, and and it's really really interesting because. Like like when I uh, with, with with the first with the first with the first couple of times I was like uh, I can't I can't really finish anything in sixty seconds um, so uh, but 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 they did a really good job of modeling and and they had uh, they had like two or three people that uh, like at least two or three three experts that gave one minute good example speeches before uh, before I had to do it so um, so so. So I was able to um, I was able to model pretty successfully w- uh, with that, but um, but it's in, um, it, it's interesting because I think like with most uh, with most conversation um, and, and and this is something that I I read in the book and then I, and then I noticed is is the most most conversation especially like like good conversation um, one person will talk talk for between like thirty and sixty seconds and then the next person will talk and then like back and forth and back and forth. And so, and so like, like rarely do you have a really good conversation where someone's just kind of just talking and talking and talking and talking, which, which now that I've been talking for like five, four minutes straight. Um. <laughs> now you're doing a, you're doing a good job. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's something I wish I was able to do like back in the day. Like, I don't know, like when I, like a few, I don't know, those videos I made a few months ago where I'm able to talk for like four or five, maybe seven minutes. That's something I was never able to do before. So, I mean, even making those, those clips, I mean, I had to do mul- multiple takes of those just to get it all out. Like try to, try to talk for four or five minutes straight. That's very, mm-hmm. that was very difficult for me, but I feel like making those videos really help. Um, uh, and 
yeah, I think it's just something I, need, I really need to practice because if, if I'm not practicing it, I feel like I'm actively getting worse. So there's like a lot of days where I'm like, I'll, I'll focus on something else where I'm not really focusing on my cluttering. And I feel like that's when my speech tends to get worse is because I'm not really focusing on it. And I can go like months at a time without really focusing on improving my speech. And I feel like that's when I tend to clutter like the most work. Cause like recently I haven't really been paying attention to my speech and I feel like my cluttering has been worse these past couple of months than it has than it was a few months prior to that. So I don't know. I think for me, it kind of comes in waves as well. Like a few months I'll, I'll clutter a lot more and then, um, or a few, every, every couple of days I'll, I'll have a day where I clutter a lot or, or whatever. I don't know if it's similar to you where you have like waves of, of cluttering, like you're like, like one day you're like really one week or one day you're really good. The next week you're like terrible again. Like you're like, wow, I don't know. I was that bad. Yeah. And, and actually the, um, so, so, so I think like three to four weeks ago was like my, my worst in, in quite a while because mm -hmm. I, um, what, what, well, like, um, like, like, like two months ago, I found this like really cool video game. Um, it's called the, the, the ninth Dawn three. Um, it's, it, it's, it's like the super low budget indie, um, indie RPG game. Um, but I, um, I played it, I played it like a whole, a uh, whole bunch, like, like, like on, like on weekends and, and, and evenings. And then, um, and then, and then with, um, with my job, then I, I do a lot of written communication, but not, um, not so much, um, not so much like, like verbal communication. And then, and then um, Thai people, Thai people all speak in this kind of like Thai, Thai English. So, so I'm um, like, like, I, I kind of, um, I kind of went for like, like, um, I, I don't know, like, like, like a month without having like a conversation like this, mm -hmm. uh, where, where, where I'm speaking like normal speed, uh, nor, um, normal speed and, or, or, or like close to, close to normal speed. And then, um, and, and so, um, um, so, so anyway, um, with, um, with, with, with all those, uh, with all those factors, then I, um, uh, then, yeah, my speech was, uh, my speech was pretty, um, bad, I think, I think at that point, but, um, um, but yeah, I think, um, uh, that's a, that's a really good point about like practicing makes your speech, um, practicing and then like the warm up, warm up activities makes, um, speech a lot, um, a lot better. And, and I think like, like one of the things, um, one, uh, one of the things that I've learned is that like, like don't, uh, is for me is don't, um, don't, um, don't stress that my speech got worse um, because, uh, um, because, uh, because it's really uh, like, like, like it's not just, it's not like you went downhill, but it's more that you're kind of going up and down and up and down. And, and, and because you're aware of your speech, then, uh, then you're, uh, then you're like gradually going up. But, um, but, but even though, um, even though when you're, when like you're struggling with something now that you knew you weren't struggling with a month ago, then it's kind of it's kind of depressing. But it's all. Um, but 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 for me, I for me, I just try to remember. Oh, it's um, my speech is getting better and better, and like like I'm learning a bunch of like even if my speech sounds worse to me or sounds worse to, to someone else, I'm now I know um, now I know more and now I have like more skills that I can then use to apply later to. Um, to get even more fluid, better speech. Yeah, the thing is, no, I know I can make a lot of progress if I really like put myself like to it. Like if I if I dedicate myself like to doing it every day, like I know I'll make a lot of progress because I've done other things I've done in my life, like learning Chinese or currently right now I'm I'm really trying to improve my flexibility and I made a lot of progress in my flexibility in the past thirty days just because I'm consistent with it. And mm -hmm. like you know, pretty much anything I do in my life, if I'm consistent with it, like I'm pretty much make progress. So the thing is, I, I have to like find a reason for me to to really like motivate me to, to to practice every single day and that way I'll be able to you know be make a lot of prog a lot of progress and I'll make a lot like so yeah I basically have to be consistent with myself and I basically have to hold myself accountable to practice every single day so that's maybe something that I want to do like maybe do like a challenge where I upload to YouTube every day for like a, for like a month or something like that and I don't know, maybe just like do like a short five minutes of me talking about a certain topic every single day. So that's something I might consider doing pretty soon. Yeah, that's, uh, um, that, that'd be a really cool challenge. And, and, and it'd be cool to see um, a new uh, Manny video every day. Um, <laughs>
yeah so we'll see I'll, that's something i might consider once i'm done with the semester of school and yeah i'll have a little bit more time oh and and and, and kind of um one of the things you were you were saying reminded me of is i've got um i've got a friend and her her husband is a twitch twitch streamer uh -huh. um, so, um so he, he he plays um he plays games and then people like w uh, watch him and and i think like in twitch you can sign um like like if you if you do like a sponsor thing or whatever then um but but anyway he um, um he said that on on twitch he can make like 10 times more money um than on youtube like like, like if if 30 if thirty thousand people watch him on youtube versus 30 thousand people on, watch him on twitch then on twitch he gets like 10 times more mm -hmm. money or or, or or something like that but but um i um i i I talked. Uh, I talked to him. I, I talked to him for quite a while. We we went to dinner and just um, ch um, chatted chatted for a while. And and he's um, he, he he's this really really fascinating guy. And um, and and I asked him because um, um, that's kind of everyone's ideal game or ideal job is to just play video games all day. All day. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so um, and so um, so so I asked him, hey, well, what um, what does it take to uh, like like what 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 skills do you need to be able to do that? And he said, "Oh, that's that's a really interesting question because I've I've got like six brothers, um, like 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 there there's there's six boys in my family, and and we're all gamers, and and even um and actually all all six of them tried to tried to be a Twitch streamer, but I'm the only one that could do it. And and he said, actually, um, and he named off like two of his brothers that are way way better gamers than he is. So mm -hmm. so he said, um, it's not because I'm a great gamer." Um, cause, um, cause they're, uh, cause like even in my family, there are, are better gamers, but he said, he said the skill, um, the skill that I have is I can, I, I can keep talking like, 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 uh, and he said, I, I don't really have like, like whatever I think I just say. Um, and, and then like, uh, uh, I just talk and I just talk and I just talk. And so, um, and, and so he, he was basically describing that like like the worst thing you can do being a Twitch streamer is not talk while you're playing, um, uh, and and the, uh, the reason the people watch his Twitch stream isn't to watch him play the game, but but to kind of see or to kind of listen to what's going on in his head, like oh I'm going to try this, I'm going to do this, what uh, what does this do, and then and the people are at home are like no no don't open that box, don't open that box, okay, <laughs> um, so. Um, so, so because uh, because he's got the ability to be able to um, to talk like nonstop, like for hours and hours at a time, mm -hmm. and and as he was describing that, then I realized, oh my gosh, um, this guy has been like like in this conversation, we're, we're, we're like we're like two and a half hours into it, and he has not shut up the whole time, mm -hmm. and uh, and like everything you said has been just really really interesting, but he uh, he just talked and talked and talked and like we're in a taxi and he's talking about the stuff going on outside and just mm -hmm. talking and talking and talking. And so, so, so at first I was like super depressed because I thought, oh, uh, this is, this is super sad because now um, if that's, if that's the skill set, that's something I definitely <laughs> have. Um, so I'm never going to be a Twitch, I'm never going to be a successful Twitch, stream, Twitch streamer. But, uh, but then mm -hmm. I, uh, then I thought, oh, well, actually, actually like this would be a good like practice thing for me. Like, mm -hmm. um, and and so a couple of my a uh, couple couple of my videos, especially my jigsaw puzzle videos, um, I don't know if you've ever um, see, um, seen them, but but basically I take a jigsaw puzzle, um, and it takes between um, like thirty minutes and two hours, and and I bas I basically just like do the jigsaw puzzle and try to talk as I'm doing the jigsaw puzzle. So okay. so so that's um, that's that's really really tough because my like like when I'm doing a jigsaw puzzle, like I'm. I'm like a hundred percent in my head and like, usually I don't say anything at all. So, um, so, so I think, I, I think in one of my videos, I was talking and talking and talking and I got like 20 of the, or like, like 20% of the puzzle done. And then I just mm -hmm. kind of gave up and just, and within like 10 minutes, just got like most of the, um, most of the puzzle done. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't talking, but, but it was, a, it, it was, a, um, it was kind of, um, kind of like the challenge that you were, uh, uh, kind of like the challenges that you were, um, I'm, I'm is, bringing up yeah is, is is trying to trying to say something interesting and trying and trying to trying to lessen the uh, trying to lessen the um, the, um, the time between like thinking a thought and then say, and then saying it mm -hmm. because I used to um, like like when um, 
when I was um, when I was um, when I when I was younger when uh, when we were talking about how how I would like think through um, sentences, mm -hmm. then then I would never actually like say something that I uh, was was thinking. And, and, and I might have, like, that might have been a learned response uh, because of cluttering, like, <clears throat> like, I might have tried that a few times and just, my, my speech just came out so garbled that I realized, oh, I can't, I can't do that again, I need to, I need to think, think through. And so, so, um, so, so, so that, um, that, that, that exercise of, of, like, pretending to be a Twitch streamer, uh, but, but, like, um, I think, I, I think my jigsaw puzzle videos are my lowest viewed videos on, on, on YouTube. <laughs> is um, nobody wants to watch um, someone put together a jigsaw puzzle and talk about like random um, random stuff um, and um, but uh, but but it was a really really cool like experience for me and mm -hmm. um, and and I moved uh, I, mean, I moved into a new place with um, that I think I can do jigsaw puzzles on the floor so oh, I, might, nice. um, <laughs> I might I might I might I might um, start bring those videos back <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Another thing I want I, on that mentioned how you mentioned uh, that how you, how that one guy was talking like a lot. He was a uh, like he how he pretty much like took over the conversation like like how mm -hmm. he was pretty much stop, talking nonstop. I feel like as a clutter, I I definitely do that a lot. Like where I'll definitely let other people take lead of the conversation. So like and maybe in many conversations like I'll talk be talking to someone who talks a lot, and I'll pretty much let them talk, and I'll basically say like very little or nothing. Mm -hmm. And I think a habit I developed as a clutter is I tended to ask, instead of actually like saying stuff, I would ask a lot of questions. So I'd like, I'd ask, like, I would like make it so they, they're always, the other person's always like talking more than I am. So as a habit, I, I tended to ask people to, to ask, I always tended to ask more questions than, than like give answers. So like, if, uh, so just to keep the other person talking more and more, just so the conversation would end. I would, I would just keep asking questions to the person. And if they asked me a question, I would say like a, like a very limited response and lead back in with the question. Just like, you know, anytime they would say something, I would just, I would use whatever they said and then just use that to expand instead of me actually practicing my talking. Whereas instead of, uh, instead now I, I feel like I should be doing something like, or if they mention something, I should be like, oh, maybe this is how, or I did this once or whatever, and try to like talk, like bring, try to talk, try to bring my own experience into the conversation and try to maybe say something instead of just keep asking questions and having them lead the conversation. So like the conversation is a little more equal. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's something definitely I need to work on is instead of, is just focus on actually saying stuff in conversations. Cause even like nowadays with my friends, when I hang out with my friends group, I'll usually tend to be the the more quiet one. I mean, I'll say stuff, and I'll, I'll usually what my contribution is in the friend groups is just me saying like random stuff, maybe like a, a random funny sentence or like a random funny word or whatever. But um, I don't really tend to like lead any conversations in the friend group because of my cluttering. I tend to be self conscious and don't say much. So I don't know if you're you have similar experiences to that as well. Um. Yeah. Yeah, and and then especially like especially when I was especially when I was younger um, too. I, I I heard this I heard this thing about um, about like the steps to empathy mm -hmm. that um, that that really really helped in situations like that um, because um, um, because um, because when um, when I was um, when I was thinking about things the same way that you you were like I would try um, I would try to stay I would try to say stuff and then. Um, and then it just like wouldn't actually like fit into the conversation. Um, and then uh, th uh, then I heard this thing of the like the steps of, of empathy, and um, and it and it really helped to it, it really helped to like naturally like say stuff that that fits and flows into the conversation. So uh, so so basically um, uh, ba uh, basically the technique is that if you're um, if if you're if you're telling a story about uh, about whatever like uh, like like your dog or whatever. Then, um, then what I do is I I identify the emotion that I think you're feeling. So, um, so, 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 so I might say, oh well, um, Manny's feeling sad, um, or like whatever the emotion is that I think you're feeling. And then, um, and then what I do is I think of a story where I felt that same emotion. 
and it like, like it doesn't have to be about a dog it doesn't have to be like the, the exact same story but 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 like like i just think of I, I just think of a story where i um where i had the same emotion and then what um, then what i do is i keep that in my head and i i, I may or I, I may not actually like say that story so um but but keeping um keeping that story in my head where i have like that same emotion um what what that does is allows um, allows me to more naturally like say stuff that fits into the flow of the conversation. Like 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 if I um, if I tell the story, then that's great, and 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 we're exchanging stories with um, with like the same emotion. Especially if I identified the emotion right, and you're like, oh yeah yeah, that's exactly what happened to me. But um, but if I don't if I don't say the story, then like then just the um, just the um, um, just just the fact that I have that story in my head with the same emotion, the things that I've, um, the things that I say, um, like even if they're like one or two words, they're much, much more in line with, um, they're, uh, they're much, much more in line. And so it's, it's a lot more natural of a, of a conversation than if I, if, if I don't use that method. So, so anyway, that's a, um, that's a really, really cool technique that I, um, that I learned that um, re really helps for conversation because um, because because at first when I was like oh well I, um, this person's saying a story I need to say a similar story um, like sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't but um, but 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 this empathy model like that always works because um, because like then um, then you're thinking more about okay what's natural to uh, what's what's natural to say what's the best fit to say what's um, and that kind of thing so mm -hmm. so I I don't know I um, I don't know if that sounds like a good technique or not. Yeah, that's something I will look into and possibly, you know, try to incorporate into my speaking. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I think um, I think that's about it. I uh, I don't know. Cool. So so else? actually, let's um, let's do that uh, let's do that activity that we talked about before. Oh yeah yeah. Um, so 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 basically uh, basically the activity is and and this is based on something that Yvonne said in one of her uh, videos with me is that um, is the people people with clutter people with cluttering um, if if they're telling a story for forty seconds or less then it's really really difficult to hear any cluttering at all because they're um, they're, um, they're, they're focused on telling the story um, and 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 basically the magical point is 40 seconds or 40 seconds and then afterwards because then um, it, it, and um, and I think her point was that with like with a new speech therapy client then it's it, it can be really really tough to tell that the person has cluttering uh, and um, and um, I think she was saying that that sometimes, um, so, um, sometimes, sometimes she got someone that had been to like three or four speech, three or four other speech pathologists, and they all said, "Oh, yeah, yeah, this this um, this person, this person, this person said I don't have any problem with my speaking." And then, and, and then she listened to them for, and she realized, "Oh, yeah, yeah, you're you're you definitely have cluttering." So, um, so, um, so, so anyway, that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the intro um, to this. Is that is that like if if we give like a uh, if we give like a story uh, like a, a, a and let's uh, let's do a target of, of of five minutes for the story um, and, um, and 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 as far as um, like, like as far and, and, and so and so with with this story then 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 I won't go then we won't go back and forth so it'll be it'll be a little bit hard because. Like we won't have the natural flow of like me talking, then you talking, then me talking. Um, but with um, so um, so 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 a couple um, a couple topics, and you can pick one is um, uh, is to, um, talk about a um, talk about a childhood pet or or, or like um, um, maybe a pet that you have now. Um, talk about your hometown, or talk about. Um, um, talk about your favorite food. So, um, so, so pick, um, pick, pick only one of those three, and then um, talk for five minutes. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll talk about my current pet, which is a cat. Okay. So, so, currently, right now, I have a cat named Bambina, and she is a great cat. She is about ten years old. 
and she's a very furry cat so she's got a lot of hair and when I got her I actually had a, another an, another dog who passed away shortly after we got her but uh, they didn't seem to get along very well at first and eventually they kind of grew on each other a little bit but he'd ended up passing away the dog ended up passing away but my cat survived and so my cat right now she's a very she used to be a lot more playful she would run around a lot she'd always be jumping on trees and she would always want to be doing something and whereas now she tends to sleep a lot more she's always she's always pretty much sleeping every time I run into her uh, she'll she'll tend to walk around sometimes and she'll tend to to do some stuff every once in a while but for the most part she's pretty much sleeping all day and except for the, the few times that like dusk and dawn where she's very awake for like an hour um she right now she yeah she doesn't really do much besides that uh she she does enjoy being around people surprisingly but once it's like a really big group of people she doesn't really enjoy that that much so, so like if it's a group of like four or five of my friends she'll be around she'll hang out but if it's like a group of like I don't know eight or more people she'll want to like she, she won't want to be around just because she gets she gets scared of those of those big group settings uh but I think but I think overall she does enjoy being around people because she'll walk up to strangers randomly and just like ask for her to be pet and which is something most cats or I feel like a lot of cats don't do because I feel like a lot of cats I ran, to, ran into they they'll run away from strangers or especially people they aren't familiar with they'll be very scared around them um uh, speaking of that my cat used to be very very brave like when she was like a little kitten like she would go up to dogs like bigger dogs would be barking at her and she would just like stare at them whereas now she's like a lot more scared like even just the the, the rolling of the trash can every time I take out the trash for to put on the street she's like gets very scared of that and um yeah it's um uh, she's yeah, now that she's getting older, she's a lot more, she's a lot more laid back. I don't know. She's just, she's not as active anymore. Um, but she does, she does still, every once in a while, she'll catch like a hummingbird or something or a lizard or a rat or a little rabbit, but not as crazy as she used to be. She used to be a lot more crazy. Like I feel like almost every single day she would catch like a hummingbird or, or whatever, probably because she's a lot more older now. She's, um, she's not really... I don't know, maybe not as active or not as agile as she used to be. So now she just wants to sleep most of the day. <laughs> Was that five minutes? Um, how about, um, it, it's almost um, 30, 30 more seconds. Okay. Um, so yeah, she's uh, basically just laying low now for the most part. I think she's in retirement mode. Uh, basically, the only thing she asks for is food. Uh, litter box and a bit warm place to sleep she still likes sleeping on top of me every time I lay down but that gets pretty annoying because she starts trying to like lick my face which is I don't know it's pretty annoying <laughs> especially <laughs> when you have cat especially when she has cat breath and then she starts she starts drooling when she's like sleeping on top of you so it's another reason why I don't like her sleeping on top of me so much but for the most part she's she's a nice cat and I like having her around Cool. So, um, awesome, um, awesome story. And, um, and, and, um, can you, t um, can you tell like your, your reaction to the story and like how, uh, how, um, how that was, um, like any, um, uh, anything you noticed with your, uh, with your speech as the story progressed and that kind of thing? Um, I don't know. I feel like I kind of like forgot. I feel like I almost forgot like I was, what I was like talking about sometimes and let's see the thing I have, I'm really bad at is storytelling. So, so like I can't, so I can't, I'm not really bad at like keeping things in chronological order when I'm talking or mm -hmm. like just like, or, or kind of like keeping things like moving, like kind of like build up and like build up to like a dramatic, dramatic thing. I kind of, I kind of just say things like in, in small sentence, like in small, like in sentence fragments or sentences. So I don't really, I don't really like focus on what I'm on being like a good storyteller. I just kind of say things 
uh, I did feel like uh, as I as I as I talk more and more, like I feel like I tended to stutter or maybe talk a little faster. I don't know if you noticed that at all. Um, yeah, yeah, um, especially like um, especially compared like like your the first um, the first like twenty seconds um, versus uh, versus the last like minute and a half. Um, and and it wasn't um, it it was more that like in certain parts then you said something very, really really fast like like especially when uh, especially when you were talking about like your friends um, mm -hmm. then, then I noticed you uh, you said like twenty words in about three seconds <laughs> yeah so um, so yeah but um, but but it was it it. It was it was a great story and um, and I um, I wouldn't I wouldn't have said the same thing that you're um, that you're not a great storyteller because it, it was it, it was the most the most compelling story that I've heard about a cat like probably <laughs> probably this year. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you want to give it a go or? Um, yeah, yeah. So so give me um, give me three um, give me three possible topics and I'll pick one. Okay, so uh, your life in Thailand, your life growing up in the U.S., and the best <laughs> trip you've ever been on. The best what? The best uh, uh, vacation you've ever been on. Okay, what, what was the word you said? Uh, vacation. <coughs> like, like no, no, vacation I, mean, or... I, mean, I mean the first, the first word. What it like for that last sentence or? Oh no, no, no! Or the no, no, or the first. No, no, I, can... <laughs> oh. I um I thought you uh what well I I better not say what I thought you said uh, which which probably wasn't what what you said okay so so um I'll say uh, the best the best vacation that I've ever been on I I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure if this is the best but it's it's one of the most um memorable um is I went on vacation to Nicaragua uh -huh. and. Um, I picked I picked Nicaragua because, um, well, well, I've been to I, I've been to a couple like poorer countries and um, and and I thought oh well it'd be really cool to like go to like the poorest the poorest country so so I went I went on Wikipedia and I um, and and I kind of did this um, this this ranking of of countries that are poor and. Um, like, like, like the, the poorest countries are, are really dangerous. So, so like, like, like the poorest country that are that's not very dangerous, and um, and and like within uh, within a like six hour uh, um, six to ten hour flight of um, of me pref um, preferably preferably. And so, so, um, so Nicaragua was uh, Nicaragua was just a very very poor um, country. Uh, it's really. Um, it's really interesting because I think like a lot of drugs go through Nicaragua, but uh, but but there aren't like in, drugs in Nicaragua because like nobody's rich enough to actually afford any of the drugs. So um, so um, so 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 I think like um, like people transport them, but like like I don't think I, I don't think there are very many like people addicted to drugs in in Nicaragua just because everyone's like super super poor. Um, but. But but it's um, like like it was a little it was a little bit too poor for me because one of the things one of the things I really like doing is like walking around like a random um, a random town and or, or or like a random part of the city and like stop stopping at a coffee shop or stopping at, stopping at a bar um, and and like drinking and writing um, like 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 for me that's like the ideal vacation is um, is is kind of like a more like urban or. Um, like a like a city vacation, um, so so I tried to do that in, in Nicaragua, and um, and I was I was with my ex girlfriend, and we walked uh, we walked probably about ten kilometers, um, like like ten to twelve twenty to ten to twelve kilometers per day, uh, for like two weeks, like around the city, and I think we found like two coffee shops, like. Um, but, um, like like in Bangkok, um, in Bangkok, I could walk. Um, like if I walk, if I walk this way, then there are like four coffee shops within like 200 meters. And then if I walk that way, uh, well, the MRT is that way, and and um, so, so there's within two 200 meters that way there are like probably like 10 coffee shops. So um, so. 
um, so, um, so, so like, so like in Bangkok, I can do like my, my fun vacation, which is like walk around, um, <clears throat> walk around until I find a coffee shop, um, sit down, do a little bit of writing, um, cool off, then, um, then, um, then walk and walk and walk until I, um, until I put in like a full day of, of walking around town and like, like getting like, like, like learning about, learning about the city from walking around in it. And, and, um, and so, so I did that in Nicaragua, I did that in Nicaragua, but they, um, but but just there, um, people don't have coffee shops in Nicaragua, which uh, w which is really interesting because part of the reason I picked Nicaragua is that I got Nicaraguan coffee beans and they were just like like really really delicious. So so I was expecting to get to go to Nicaragua and find like really really good coffee, but but all the all um, all the coffee was like the co the Nicaraguan coffee beans that I got got off Amazon um, were like way way better coffee than anything that I found in in Nicaragua. And so, so I think they just export all the really good stuff to, um, um, to, out, to outside of Nicaragua. But, but one, of the, one of the really, really cool things about um, Nicaragua is, is the, bus, the buses and the vans. I think they are, um, I think they're paid based on like who they pick up. And so, um, and so, so, so I remember like, like it, um, I was like a, a quarter of a mile from from the main road where the bus was, and the bus saw me walking, and the bus stopped, like, um, it, and the bus had like thirty people in it, and the bus stopped and like waited for me to walk so that he could pick um, he could pick me up. Um, just um, just like um, the bus drivers, their, their their customer service level is is like ten out of ten because they're just so excited for every um, for every customer, and and, um, and they have um, in their um, in the in the vans, like like the the fifteen passenger vans, um, they have a um, they have two people working. One um, one's a driver, and then one's uh, one's a guy that kind of leans out and just yells at people like, "Hey, get in, get in! We're going here, we're going here." Um, so so it, so so it's just it, it's this really really cool, interesting um, thing of of like they're just trying to cram as many people into this. Um, and, and I think I think one time I counted like twenty two people in this fifteen passenger van. Um, but, um, but yeah, it was, um, it was, it was really cool. So, um, so, so I, um, we, uh, we walked, uh, we walked around a lot, um, didn't find, didn't find any good cop or didn't find any great copy, um, uh, only found a couple coffee shops, but it was just, it was really, really cool. Like seeing, a a piece of, um, uh, piece of the world that I probably wouldn't have normally um, gone to if I hadn't done that like Wikipedia ranking. Nice, that was a really interesting story. Um, <laughs> uh, you should go to Vietnam. I heard they have really good coffee there. Oh yeah, um, Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam's off. Uh, Viet Vietnam's awesome, and they um, and and the thing that the thing that Vietnamese people always say is Vietnamese coffee is strong. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's like, like even even when it's not very strong, then then the Vietnamese person serving the coffee to you will warn you that this coffee is strong, but like, like generally it's, um, um, cause they, um, they, uh, they usually, um, uh, they usually like, um, kind of like soak, soak it for like a long, long time. So, um, mm -hmm. um so, so it's not the same as like, um, um like, like drip coffee, mm -hmm. uh, because, um, uh, because it's been soaking and, um, has like way, way more of the actual coffee extracted from the beans than regular coffee. Nice. So, how did you feel during that whole uh, storytelling? Um, actually, I um, I think I I think I just got way too into the storytelling, and I um, like didn't um, yeah I, um, I was I was trying to um, like I was really really trying to like make it fit back together so that it actually kind of resembled the story mm -hmm. and. Um, and, and I almost, like, like, I almost got lost. I almost, I almost got lost and went on a path that didn't, uh, like, 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 like amazing where I go off on a tangent that doesn't actually matter. And, and, and a couple, um, a couple of times I, like, I had two or two other points that I just really, really wanted. I really, really wanted to say, like, my, my brain was like, Hey, Hey, Joseph, say this, um, say this. It's, um, it's really important. Now, now, now I can't remember what, um, what it was, but, but what? Um, but while uh, while I was telling uh, while I was telling the story, then I um, then um, th um, then I then I just had just had to say, hey, um, 
like if I if I tell that, then it's going to be like a ten minute story, and I'm not going to be able to wrap like like I'm not going to be able to wrap it up into like an actual like story, but it's going to be just me like talking and then mm -hmm. um, and then ending at some point rather than be rather than it actually like kind of resembling a story. Yeah, I think you did a pretty good job. Uh, you didn't have any places where I thought you talked particularly fast, so like you did a pretty good job of staying consistent with your pace and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that's um, that's that's something that I think that just comes from me like practicing and um, and uh, like like making a making a whole bunch of YouTube videos. Making well, actually, my my biggest my biggest thing that helped me with pacing was all the Amazon videos I did. I, I did like over a thousand of over a thousand Amazon videos, and and um, and and I. And I focused like a whole bunch on pacing in those. Mm -hmm. Cool. I think that's, we should end it there and then. Okay. Cool. Great. Um, so cool. nice to... um, thanks very much and great, great talking to you as always. Great talking to you as well. Uh, next, see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.